，嗯，咖啡。Great way to start the day. Welcome back to the channel, guys. As you can see, I'm in a different location as to where I usually am. I'm just underneath the Spinnaker Tower in Portsmouth, and I'm going to pick a new car up today. I'm currently waiting for George from Haven Car Company to come and collect me. So, just wanted to come and see the boats more than anything. You never get views like this, so you got to appreciate them. I'm gonna go and find a coffee. Wait for George. Just coming out of Gonmore Keys and just spotted this the other side of the road. This is literally what I want so bad right now. You have no idea if anybody knows the owner of this car. I don't think it's been left here, but it looks like it's uh, it's not abandoned. It's a bit, you know, dirty, but yeah. 560 SEC, I would absolutely love one. It's got a wooden steering wheel in it as well, look at that. Big Brabus wheels on it. Yeah, if anybody knows who owns this, I would absolutely love this. The plate's really cool as well. But yeah, what a spot on the way. Yeah, this, I'd love to add one of these to uh, what I've got. A big old school Mercedes fan. Yeah, would absolutely love that. If anybody knows who owns it, can I buy it off you please? So, George was just like, oh mate, um, I've got something mental coming, so prepare yourself. <laughs> when you said something mental, I was genuinely thinking something ballistically mental. Here we are, let's just, hold on, let's just get a little, uh, what is it? A Renault Captcha, nice. <laughs> mate, you guys know how to live, don't you? She's a manual and everything. Mate, these mats are from like Lidl, the, isn't they? The flex. That is Serious a flex. flex. That is a Mate, this whole car is a flex. Yeah. Oh, mate, I was expecting something absolutely juicy then to come around the corner for the vlog and you're like, yeah, this is mental, mate. Oh, I will not believe I this. I literally don't know why you're disappointed. I, I'm not disappointed, I'm ashamed. <laughs> Right, so we've made it down to Havant Car Company. We'll, we'll do a walk around of all the stuff that's here because you guys always like to sort of show what's down here. Again, if you guys want to, <laughs> this is the, the mighty steed that we've come down here. If you guys want anything, Havant Car Company will leave their details on screen. Lovely M140i. Again, I sort of want to go through and explain to you guys why I didn't pick these cars. M140i, do really like them. I just wanted something maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit more powerful in a sense. We will go around to this C6. 63 though because this was shortlisted definitely on the cards for me to actually go in on this is a beautiful example colors lovely wheels everything but i don't think it's time for an amg car yet i think i want a newer one to this and the prices are out of control at the moment so yeah didn't really go for one of those and this was the last one well second to last one i was really really gonna go in on club sport Mark 7 GTI is probably one of the best cars I've ever driven. Front wheel drive. This one's got the seats in it. It is just the most beautiful spec. So this was shortlisted as well as the C63 for the next car. But I'd already done the German hatch thing. I didn't really want to go back into a hot hatch more than anything. I wanted something a little bit bigger like a C63 or some sort of coupe. So that's what we've gone for. But this was shortlisted as well as this down here, which is a Mark II Focus RS. Now, I've tried to buy a few of these in the past. Tried to buy haven't uh, before my RS3 but me personally you guys may or may not know I do think the RS3 is probably the best hot hatch ever that's why I bought one this RS is absolutely beautiful but I know a lot of people out there won't agree with this but I already have a Ford in my stable I don't need another one although I would absolutely love this one I don't really need another RS or Ford product because I like too many other cars like German cars American cars French cars so to actually pick one of these and start throwing mileage on it and stuff if I was to ever get a Mark II Focus RS it would have to be a low mileage really nice example and me just enjoy it on the weekends more than anything like I do sort of with me uh my Series 1 RS Turbo, so maybe one day down the line we will get into one of these. But again, as you can see by the prices and current market and stuff, it's all a bit crazy at the moment. This one is a two owner, well, really good mileage. Absolutely stunning example. RS Direct actually sold this to the owner way back when they were going. So that is a beautiful car. We'll just go around and show you guys what else is here. Golf R, which again, I do like, but I'm a GTI Club Sport fan. Again, I know I'm very strange. This was actually on the channel not too long ago. Ago. this is down here as well and a couple of other the uh, c43 amg was another car that a lot of people 
people actually were interested in having on the channel maybe i do like this the c63 fan though that's the thing i've driven one of these for the channel if you guys may or may not remember so i have actually had a very good experience in one of those but it wasn't shortlisted mainly because of the 63 rather than the 43. we will go down this side just to show you what else is here proximity. is that that is that proximity center sensor going on right we will show you this although i love these my back is brittle because i'm an old man big fan of these a45s but again i didn't want to get back into a hot hatch i wanted some something like a coupe or, or something like that we will just come down here and show you guys golf r another gti stunning gti this very big fan very low mileage m3 as well and this Astra that's still here, I want that big time. But enough of me talking to myself in a car park. Let's go and show you my new car. Here we go, guys. Here is mine. As we come in, we'll just close this behind us. Here is my new, new to me, it's not new, it's newer than any other. It's actually the most expensive and the newest car I've ever, ever owned. So it's a really, really big deal for me to have this and showing you guys. So. I'd like to welcome you all now to my 2015 BMW M4. So yes guys, this is the car I went for. The migration, the, the, the follow on I suppose from the RS3 more than anything. And I know, I know what's about to happen. People in the comments will be like, but everybody and their nan has had an M4 on social media, YouTube, everything like that. But this was on the bucket list. It is on the list of cars for me to own at some point. So the reason I went for an M4 more than anything is because it is the perfect amount of new, the perfect amount of old, and the perfect amount of fun. Now, personally, I've wanted one of these since actually driving AT Motorsports one. So I will say now, big thank you to AT Motorsport for um, giving me theirs for, you know, a couple of days. Remember guys, I shot that, enjoyed it, and since that day, it's about two years ago to the day, a couple of days ago, that I actually had theirs, and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna buy one of these one day, and I did actually put it on my list of cars you know slightly newer cars to actually complete at some point because if you guys didn't know more than anything i try and change my daily driver every year to a year and a half just to enjoy every single car and have an ownership experience more than anything to see what these cars are actually like for a long term just as you see on social media and you know various other outlets you will see people get long-term loaners from physical car companies from physical places for me, I love the idea of getting something from a manufacturer, but it will be a brand new car, or if not, a hyped up version of a car. Now, this car behind me, the M4, is very relatable for a lot of people. A lot of people have got to the point in their life where they want to maybe go and finance someone at this, PCP it maybe, and this is sort of the direction I wanted to go with this. Because unlike other social media people say that have relationships with press cars and press fleets, I actually put my money where my mouth is and physically buy these cars to see what they're actually like. And I think sometimes this gives me a better perspective as to the modified car community, different genres in cars and how you're able to modify these cars and also getting into a completely different style of car. Remember at the moment we do have the Cadillac, the 1966 Coupe de Ville. We do have the Series 1 RS Turbo and we have the 106 GTI. I've never physically owned a BMW M car. I've never physically owned a turbocharged rear wheel or automatic car so this is a very very different field of me considering the last performance car I actually had was the RS3. So me shortlisting an M4 was the key here. M4, M3 and some sort of AMG. Now for me AMGs are a lot more money than these M4s. The F80 M3s are very very nice but again if you don't watch the prices of stuff at the moment everything is on the up and up 
at this physical time of me recording this video. Everything is really, really expensive, so it actually took me a very long time to find the M4 I actually wanted. Again, big thank you to the guys at Haven't Car Company for actually coming through and getting me pretty much the spec I wanted. The pearl white on this, again, if you, if you ever actually see this car in person, you'll realize how nice the paint is. And I wanted it to have a few options, maybe some mods. This one's actually got a stage one with decats. It's got various other little bits on it that I will run through in some videos time. But please remember as you are commenting on this video that I'm a very normal person. I needed to find something that is easy to, again, finance and PCP, that's something that is relatable enough for you guys and something with a bit of fun behind it. I didn't want to, you know, another SUV. I didn't want a diesel, really. I wanted something I could put my kids in the back of, have a big enough boot, but have that hoon ability after you've dropped the kids off at school. And although I love E63s and stuff, again, the market is crazy at the moment. For me to actually buy into an E63 or, you know, various other cars that I was looking at, unfortunately, I've been completely priced out. So this was where Have a Car Company came in and they helped me find this M4 that's behind me and today I've picked it up. So again, if I could get you guys to do one thing from this video, just go and give them a follow, check out their stock and make sure if you ever do want a new car, definitely look at their website because they have such fantastic deals on some of the most beautiful performance cars. That's why I always come back here. I always buy my cars from here. And as you can see this time round, for the next year, year and a half, we have a BMW M4 as a daily driver. So with that guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know the comment section is gonna be rife with confusion and no one understanding why I didn't buy the Focus RS in the background. The reality is this is a better car for me personally at the moment. With financing, with you know various other things going on in life, I can get my kids in the back, I can put a bit of mileage on it, we can modify it with all the fantastic companies that I work with. And I've always wanted one, I wanna try this. Loads of people have these on the internet. I want to see what the hype is and I want to relay it back to you guys and also understand what it's like to actually drive and own and daily drive, especially a performance M car. So remember guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want. Make sure you hit up Haven't Car Company and I'll see you on the next one.